Okay, with a page number 80, and from which para we have to begin? I'm from first one, 1051 here. Okay, from first para, right? Yes, ma'am. What change does Stephen uh, notice when he peeped in? What change? At 10.50, you know, the governor... He that Evans, Evans was covered in a blanket. Uh, was not covered. He covered himself. Okay? He just yes, taped a blanket. Okay? Why? Because he was feeling a bit cold there. Okay? So, at 10.51 a.m., put the date. Hurry up. Put the date. Write down the date written. Yes, ma'am. At 10.51 a.m., Stephen's was more than a little surprised to see a gray regulation blanket draped around Evans' shoulders, and he frowned slightly and looked at the examining more closely. So at 10.51, you know, Stephen's, he was a little bit surprised. Why? Because he saw Evans had draped a blanket, okay? And uh, when he saw this uh, bit of change, okay, a little change was there, he frowned, he cruised his eyebrows, you know, and uh, he looked at the examinee very closely, he looked at the examinee. But Evans, who was the examinee? Evans, but still Evans, the pen still between his teeth was staring just as vacantly as before. So... You know, when he peeped inside, he saw a little bit of change was there that even he had draped a blanket all around himself. But still, he was sitting with pen between his teeth and was staring towards the door vacantly, okay, as he was doing earlier. Blankly beneath a blanket. Should Stephen record the slight irregularity? Now, see, a doubt, it occurs into Stephen's mind and he things that should he report this irregularity, okay? A slight change, a little bit of change was there. So he thinks that uh, should he report it, should he inform the governor or the uh, senior prison officer Jackson about this? Anything at all fishy, mm -hmm. hadn't Jackson said? And Jackson, he said, if you find, if you see anything fishy, just report it to me. And then he looked through the peephole once again, okay? Or he saw the was Stephen's jo hai, peephole mein se wapis dekhta. And even as he did so, he even pulled the dirty blanket more closely to himself. And when he peeped him inside, what did he see? Even, you know, he was just draping more closely the dirty blanket around his body. Okay? Was he planning a sudden Batman leap? Leap is jump to suffocate McClary in the blanket. Now uh, some of the doubts, it comes into whose mind? Stephen's mind. Ki kya wo kuch soch hai? Ki McClary ko suffocate kar le to suffocate him into his blanket. Don't be deaf. And then he, you know, <clears throat> he says to himself, don't be deaf, don't be a fool, don't be so stupid, okay? There was never any sun on this side of the prison, no heating. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh, <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> then he tries to just, okay, uh, he's not talking to anybody, he's just trying to convince himself, okay, and he says, come on, don't be so deaf, okay, apne aap koi kya rahe, ki mein itta bekuf ki hoon, mujhe ye sochna chahiye ki there is no sun, Okay, means sunlight does not reach us on this side of the prison. So no heating is there, even during the summer months. So it could get quite chilly in some of the cells. Clear? Or then he tries to uh, convince himself. He tries to understand his own soul. Okay, uh, his own mind and soul. Ki nahi, come on, don't be so stupid, stupid Stephen. Actually, the sunlight does not reach us to this side of the prison and it is quite dark here, right? And as sunlight is, does not reach, so there is no heating and all. And uh, this portion of the prison, you know, it is quite cold okay, compared, comparatively to other portions. Stephens decided to revert to his early, earlier every minute observation. 
और फिर वो अपने आप को कन्विंस कर लेता है एंड ही है ना आई शुड कंटिन्यू विद माय ड्यूटी ऑफ ऑब्जर्विंग आफ्टर टू टू मिनट्स एट इलेवन ट्वेंटी एम द रिसीवर वन स्मोक लोके अक्रॉस द साइलेंस ऑफ द गवर्नर ऑफिस ना गवर्नर governor once again he listens to the talk the conversation of the examinee and the examiner and what was the conversation mcclary informed events that only 5 minutes remained are you following beta yes ma'am yes ma'am sure yes ma'am okay so now uh, what happens what does my governor listen he listens that mcclary is informing events that only 5 minutes are remaining as we inform you people isn't it when we are on the invigilation duty we just keep on informing you know 15 minutes are left 10 are left 5 are left so on so even here maclary informs the examiner that only 5 minutes remain the exam the examination was almost over now but something still not away quietly in the governor's mind he reached for the phone once more Okay, the examination it was almost over, but something was still gnawing. It was still going, you know, troubling the governor's mind, and he just went for the phone. He just reached. He just picked up the phone at eleven twenty-two a.m. Jackson shouted along the corridor to Stephen. So now, governor के दिमाग में अभी भी कोई ना कोई doubt चल रहा था. उसने phone उठाया. 11:22 पर जैक्सन ही कॉल्स स्टीफन्स नाउ लिसन टू ईच एंड एवरी लाइन वेरी केयरफुली ओके ही शाउटेड अलोंग द कॉरिडोर टू स्टीफन्स द गवर्नर वांटेड टू स्पीक विद हिम ओके जैक्सन ही कन्वेस द मैसेज दैट द गवर्नर वांट्स टू स्पीक टू स्टीफन्स हरी मैन ही सेज स्टीफन्स पिक्ड अप द फोन अप्रेंसिवली एंड लिसन टू द rapidly spoken orders okay as you get the hurry man it was very clear he picked up the phone and he listened to the orders that were delivered by the governor stephen himself stephen himself what were the orders stephen himself was to accompany mcclary to the main prison gate got it they were the orders okay who had given the orders the governor governor and what were the orders that stephen himself will accompany maclary to the main gate hai na usko wahan tak khud chhodne jayega escort karta hu understood stephen personally was to make absolutely sure that the door was locked on events after maclary had left the cell understood aur sath mein ye bhi order se ki stephen you know he will make sure that the doors are locked properly once maclary he comes out okay from where he comes out of the cell of events okay events ki cell se bahar aa gaye to ye stephens ko sure karna hai ki events ke sorry stephens ko sure karna hai ki events ke cell door jo hai properly lock kare okay lock hone chahiye this events have to do it Now understood at eleven twenty-five a.m. the governor heard the final exchanges. Okay, finally the examination was over. Stop writing, please. Put your sheets in order and see they are correctly numbered. Scrapping of chairs and table, moving of chairs and table. Thank you very much, sir. All right, was it not too bad? Okay. All right, he wanted. Maybe he wanted to ask how was the paper. So Stephen said, "Not too bad, good, Mr. Stephen." Okay. The governor heard the door clang for the last time. The door it made a sound. It opened and it closed. The examination was over. Right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. See now, Stephen is going along with McLarry. Okay. Where? Where is he going? Along with McLarry to the main gates. है ना उसको छोड़ना है ना मेन गेट्स तक तो नाउ व्हेन ही इज गोइंग विद हिम ही इज टॉकिंग टू मैकलेरी हाउ डिड ही गेट ऑन डू यू थिंक आस्क स्टीफन एज ही वॉक बिसाइड मैकलेरी टू द मेन गेट्स हाउ डिड ही गेट ऑन हाउ डिड ही डिड हिज एग्जाम्स हाउ डिड ही सॉरी डू हिज एग्जाम्स ओके एंड 
उसको था कि भाई कैसा करा पास आस हो जाएगा कि नहीं आओ चाहे कहना थिंग ही हैज डिस्टिंग्विश हिमसेल्फ आई एम अफ्रेड आई डोंट थिंक ही हैज डन समथिंग ओके आई एम अफ्रेड हिज स्कॉट्स एक्सेंट व्हाट आई सेड अर्लियर आल्सो हिज एक्सेंट ऑफ स्पीकिंग इट वाज द स्कॉटिश वन ओके सो हिज स्कॉट्स एक्सेंट सीम ब्रॉडर देन एवर एंड हिज लॉन्ग ब्लैक ओवरकोट नाउ सी reaching almost to his knees okay long black overcoat that he was wearing it was reaching almost to his knees fostered the illusion that he had suddenly grown slim okay now an illusion it developed into the mind of stephen and he just thinks that how come he has grown slim ये स्लिम कैसे हो गया ओवरकोट वाई इट इज रीचिंग अप टू ही थोड़ा सा उसके दिमाग में आता है बट स्टीफन स्पेल प्लीज द गवर्नर हैड आस्क्ड हिम एंड नॉट जैक्सन टू सी मैकलेरी ऑफ द प्रेमाइस ओके नाउ स्टीफन ही वाज वेरी मच हैप्पी ही वाज वेरी मच प्लीज एंड सम व्हाट फीलिंग प्राउड ओ यू नो सीनियर ऑफिसर ही हैज नॉट बीन असाइन दिस ड्यूटी बाय द गवर्नर टू सी हिम ऑफ टू द मेन गेट्स okay he had been given this important duty okay to see mac larry off to the main to the main gates so he was feeling very much pleased somewhat proud and all in the all the morning had gone pretty well and everything went on very well sab kuch sahi gaya who is this for who is this for get away then but something stopped him from making his way directly to the canteen for a belated cup of coffee now stephens when he returns he was quite happy ki such important duty was assigned to me and uh, then he thinks of going for a coffee but something stops him what a curiosity again to peep inside you know to peep into the cell सेल इवन सेल ओके क्रियोसिटी उसके अंदर से जागी कि बिफोर गोइंग फॉर अ बिलेटेड कप ऑफ कॉफी आई मस्ट वॉन्स अगेन सी इवेंट्स ही वॉन्टेड टू टेक जस्ट वन लास्ट लुक एट इवेंट्स इट वॉज लाइक अ प्रोग्राम ही एट सीन ऑन टीवी ओके अभी एक लास्ट लुक वो लेना चाहता था इवेंट्स को देखना चाहता था एंड ही रिमेम्बर्स दैट Why the last look? He wanted to be satisfied. Okay, so he just remembers about a program he had seen on TV uh, about a woman who could never really convince herself that she had locked the front door when she had gone to bed. Okay, she remembers that. Uh, sorry, he remembers that he had seen a program on the TV where a woman she was all alone. She locked the front door, but she was not at all convinced. And I was convinced that we. So. when she went to bed she got up at least 12 15 and sometimes 20 time to check the bolts okay whether she had bolted whether she had locked the front door or not to usko dhyan aaya ki wo women bhi badi uneasy ho rahi thi bar bar and again and again she was just getting up and just uh, going out to see whether she had locked the front door or not so isiliye usko bhi lagta hai ki ek last bar wo events ko dekh le ki uska cell locked hai usko peep kar le so he reentered diving made his way along to even cell open the peep hole once more following beta yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am oh no christ no there sprawled back lying back in even chair was a man okay एकदम से इवेंट्स की चेयर पर मैन वाज लाइंग फॉर अ सेमी सेकंड स्टीफेंस नॉट इट मस्ट बी इवेंट्स एकदम से पहले तो उसको लगा शायद इवेंट्स है अ ग्रे रेगुलेशन ब्लैंकेट यू नो स्लिपिंग स्लिपिंग फ्रॉम हिज शोल्डर्स कमिंग डाउन फ्रॉम हिज शोल्डर्स सुनना ध्यान से जो ब्लैंकेट था इट वाज कमिंग डाउन फ्रॉम हिज शोल्डर्स द फ्रंट the front of his closely cropped cut okay hair irregularly tubbed hair a wash with fierce red blood all you know the hair that were irregularly tubbed okay jo kate hue the skull se chipke hue the now 
they were all with red blood which had dripped already through the small black beard now the blood it was dripping down and it had come to the black beard maclady was having the beard isn't it beard thi na uske to uske beard mein aa rahe the and was now even spreading horribly over the white clerical collar samajh mein aa gaya black or white uh, jo clerical dress pehnte fathers priest dekha hai na तो वहां पर इट वाज कमिंग डाउन एंड इनटू द ब्लैक क्लेरिकल और आगे का जो क्लेरिकल फ्रंट था दैट वाज ब्लैक इन कलर द व्हाइट कॉलर चाहते हुए इट वाज ड्रॉपिंग डाउन ऑन द ब्लैक क्लेरिकल फ्रंट क्लियर यस यस मैम फाइंडिंग इट इंटरेस्टिंग और नॉट यस मैम श्योर अब देखो क्या हुआ ओके सेम ऐसे ऐसे ही मैं क्लेरी को वो बाहर छोड़कर भी आया ना Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. He went to see of McLeary outside, but how come another McLeary was sitting inside? Now what happens? Stephen shouted wildly for Jackson. Buri tarah se he started shouting and he called Jackson. And the words appeared to penetrate the curtain of blood that veiled that veiled means covered McLeary's ears. Why? Because all the blood, you know, it was dripping down. It was coming down. Okay. So it also covered McLeary's ear. Years and it had come to the uh, white clerical collar and to the black front and all. अब ऐसा लगा कि उसके words ने penetrate करा for the minister's hand felt feebly for a handkerchief from his pocket. So uh, very feebly in a very weak manner he tried to take out the handkerchief from his pocket and held it to his bleeding head. Okay, and he just hold the handkerchief here. The blood seeping slowly through the white linen. Okay, and the blood, you know, it was seeping into the white handkerchief. He gave a long, low moan. Moan is what a cry of pain. Okay, and tried to speak. Now he was being hit, right? And he just uh, tried to speak something. But his voice trailed away due to pain. His voice trailed away. He was not able to speak. And by the time Jackson had arrived and dispatched Stephen to ring the police and the ambulance, okay. Or is some other Jackson had already come and he told Stephen to ring the police, okay, to inform the police means to inform everyone and just call the ambulance. The handkerchief, handkerchief was a sticky, squelchy wad of cloth. बड़ा चिपचिपा सा जैसे कपड़ा हो जाता है ना. Full of blood, you know it was. McLeary slowly raised himself. So whom did he see off to the main gate? Is ko chhod kar aaya wo Stephens? Evans. 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 So McLeary slowly raised himself. Okay, lot of twist and turn is there in the story. See, McLeary slowly raised himself. His face twisted. Tightly in pain, expressions. You know why he was in pain. He was badly injured. Dina worry means don't worry about the ambulance, man. I'm all right. I'm all right. Accent was Scottish. Get the police. I know. I know where he. Okay. Now he says, don't worry. Don't worry about the ambulance. You know, I'm okay. You just call the police. I know where he is. Where he is means where Evans has gone. He says, I know. He closed his eyes, and another drop of blood, drip of blood, splashed like a huge red raindrop on the wooden floor. And then he just closed his eyes in pain, and a big drop of blood it fell on the floor. His hand felt along the table, found the German cushion paper. Okay, he put his hand. You know, he just moved his hand along the table. He took the German cushion paper and grasped. Okay, he just held it tightly in his blood-stained hand. Get the governor. I know, I know where Evans. Now he says, "Come on, call the governor. I know where Evans has gone. Hurry up!" Almost immediately, silence was sounding. It happens now when somebody breaks the jail and escapes. This is the scene. Na, har jagah siren bajne lagte hain. Prison officers they barked. Okay, bark was used. Kara actually they just <coughs> order. Okay. They just uh, give orders. <clears throat> so uh, almost immediately, sirens were sounding. Prison officers they barked orders. Puzzled prisoners pushed their way along the corridors. Okay, 
the prisoners who were out to okay, kill they were pushed inside doors were banged and bolted doors you know big heavy metallic doors everywhere you know in the whole premises everywhere the doors were banged and they were locked and phones were ringing everywhere why any how they have to get evans back and within a minute mcleary with jackson stephen supporting him on either side now see mcleary was in between and on one side stephen was there and on the other side who was there jackson was there okay supporting him usko support karte hue his face now streaked and caked okay his face was now covered and it was caked with drying blood the blood you know it was drying uh he was uh, yes was greeted in the prison yard by the governor now he was welcomed by the governor in the prison yard mein governor se milta hai perplexed and grim now governor he was very much perplexed confused and he was very much grim grim means serious why confused even he did not come to know how all these thing happened how did he manage to escape who events kaise manage ho gaya ki wo escape kar gaya kaise kar gaya between such a tight security and even the phones you know they were connected microphone was attached to the governor's office and all and he was listening to every little conversation to every little action that was taking place okay to so, the tight security ke beech mein kaisa ho gaya to governor bichara bahut perplexed tha we must get you to hospital immediately i just don't governor says we must take you to the hospital you have called the police yes yes they are on the way but okay apne way par hai i'm all right i'm all right who says mcleary look here look here awkwardly he opened the german question paper usne off kola and thrust it before the governor's face and showed it you know just pushed it you know in front of the governor's face you know just open it it's there do you see what i mean it's there do you see what i mean means he wanted to show the correction slip that was pasted actually in it the plan was written in the german language okay how to get escaped from the prison it was written so he wanted to show the correction slip that was pasted wo kya tha wo plan tha to wahi wo usko dikha raha hai beta mcleary usko dikha raha hai the governor looked down and realized what mcleary was trying to tell him okay governor samajh gaya a photocopy sheet had been carefully and cleverly superimposed okay had been pasted over the last page of the question paper samajh mein aaya jo last page tha na question paper ka uske upar bahut cleverly usko paste kar diya clear yes ma'am yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Enough. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, beta. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.